When I was going through my undergraduate college education, um, and then as a child also, I had, I had several orthopedic injuries myself, which would classify as sports injuries or minor trauma. And um, my interactions with healthcare as a patient were mostly being treated for these injuries. Um, then when I got into to medical school and started going through, I found that my personality was closest to orthopedic surgeons. It was a lot like being on a, a sports team again. And the, um, the things that we could offer patients, um, I found it more satisfying than other areas of medicine. You know, it, it, there is value in internal medicine, there is value in, in delivering babies. Um, it's just not what I wanted to do, not what I wanted to be involved in. I like the precision of orthopedics because you get a specific diagnosis with a usually very clear treatment and uh, predictable outcomes. Um, orthopedic patients tend to be happy, they tend to be grateful, um, they tend to also be very focused and motivated. The, the core of it is it's a collaborative relationship. Um, the patient comes with a complaint, you help define the source of the complaint and as the treating physician, you define options available to treat that complaint. Uh, if a surgical intervention is indicated, then you discuss the, the choices that are available, the recovery timeline is going to follow, the reasonable prediction of outcome after delivery of the treatment. Um, but if the patient's not on board with the program, if the patient doesn't understand the goals, um, it, it doesn't work nearly as well. Um, I don't tell people what to do. I don't um, tell them what has to happen. I, I present them with the options that are available and then collectively make, we make a decision moving forward about what to do. And um, then as they are recovering, um, encouragement, direction, collaboration with the physical therapist, collaboration with occupational therapy, uh, collaboration with the primary care treatment team, um, all these things lead to a better outcome. Not everybody who comes in uh, needs a surgery. Um, what they usually need is a diagnosis and they need to be instructed on the treatment options available. And um, if a surgery is indicated, then we start moving in that direction. More likely what happens is, uh, take for instance, the diagnosis of arthritis. We, we tell them, you know, you have osteoarthritis or you have rheumatoid arthritis and we should use these medications, we can use these injections, we can use physical therapy, we can brace, we can um, modify your lifestyle, we can help you work on weight loss. All of these things are going to have an impact and if at the end of the road, if all of those things have resulted in improvement, then hey, we avoided a surgery. And if after we've exhausted the non-operative measures available, whatever the diagnosis is, then surgery is a reasonable option and everybody can go into it with a clean conscience knowing we've tried everything and that you know, whatever the outcome, this is what we needed to do.